Well, let's say you have an array here. It has a zeroth, oneth, twoth, threeth, fourth, and fiveth elements. And it contains zero, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and five hundred respectively. You want to print these guys out alongside of their element index. That's what we're going to do. There are a couple of ways to do that. Let's do three of them. First, I'm going to create a list. What's going to be in that list? Well, I'm going to populate it as follows. Along the range, starting at zero, ending up to but not including 600, and I'm going to increment it by 100. So that should give me zero through 500. Let's see if that works. And it does. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a variable counter. C equals zero. Next thing I'm going to do is create a loop for Z in X, the structure X, print out the following. C, and then X is Cth index. And then I want to increment C. And there they are. The parade of hits. Zero, one, zero, zero. One of the element has a hundred, two of the element has two hundred, three, three hundred, four, four hundred, and five, five hundred. These are ways to enumerate the items. And so we know that X has zero through five hundred. So I key in for Z in X. No, uh, could you enumerate X for me? And then race through that thing and print out Z. Oh, where did I go wrong? Uh, dun, 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 for Z. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am so fired. The name of the array is X, not Z. Oops. All right, for Z and in, in, enumerate X, then print out Z. And... But a bing, but a bang, but a boom, it works. Not only has an enumeration, an enumeration occurred, but in addition, they were all placed into tuples. Wow. That's nice. Now there's another way to do this. Here we did for Z in enumerate X, but maybe you don't want it to be in a tuple. So, if you don't want it to be in a tuple, for a comma b in enumerate x ah i'm in typo hell one more time put the colon in there there we go for a comma b in enumerate x colon print a comma b now it'll just list them out on the screen but it's not going to put them into a tuple. And there they go. That's about all I have to say for now. This is George Ball. If you like the video, please rate it by clicking on the like button. I'd appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.